Hey friends, welcome back to another video. My name is Emma LaFave and today we are on day three of our advent calendar series. We are going to be painting some beautiful and simple snowflakes. So let's jump in and get started. Also, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on one single video. Okay, friends, welcome. So today we're actually gonna be painting a really simple snowflake, but doing it in kind of a fun and relaxing way. So you're gonna need your paper that you're working on. You could do multiples of these. I have my Winsor & Newton professional watercolors and my Emma LaFave and Craftimo brushes. I'm probably gonna be using my smaller detail one for this. And then a pencil and eraser. And if you are not the best at drawing straight lines, grab yourself a ruler. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> and let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do very, very lightly is draw out my sketch of a snowflake very lightly. Okay. So I'm going to just start with, I'm going to do two inches across. The row. Yep. Two inches across. And I'm just going to do a diagonal like so. And then I'm going to do another one. I'm going to do six, six sides. So I can kind of make sure that they're all the same length or apart because I'm going right at the one Wait, Actually, you know what? I will know what my center is based on this little one here, one inch. Okay. Then I'm going to do one inch like that. Really hoping this works out <laughs> to two. And then our last one like that one to two and you can hope that it is fairly symmetrical and if not that's okay too but you want to have six lines okay then i'm going to do some in between these ones are going to be shorter so again just going by that two inch you can make it a little bit shorter maybe um so like a half inch half to half like that Use your one inch as your guide again, half to half, burn. And then I know this isn't the fun part, but we'll get there. And then half to half like that. And then you're going to kind of pick a design that you'd like to do. You could do diamonds, you could do lines, whatever is easy and simple. Um, I think I might do like a diamondy shape like that. Why not make little diamonds? And when we fill this in, this is when it's going to get fun. Not this part. <laughs> I promise though, it will get better. Diamond, shine bright like a diamond, like that, and like that. And then for the lines in between, you could go like a little V if you wanted to. You can make them as intricate as you'd like. It's totally up to you. Just make sure you are doing your sketch nice and light. We're gonna erase a bit of it too. And I know this is very, very small, um, but you could obviously make it bigger if you want. Maybe I'll do like a little, I don't know, a little extra tail on all of these. with a little boop, I don't know, another little V maybe. Just kind of have fun with it. And then you could always just kind of connect if you wanted. Mm, do I want to? Like that. I don't know, just kind of have fun with it. Okay, and now the fun part. Okay, so let's take our eraser and I'm just gonna roll it over the design so I can still see it, but it's light enough that it won't show up like crazy. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your small detail brush and you're gonna pick a blue or a purple or whatever color you wanna do. You're not gonna make it super dark. You wanna have a very, very watered down version. Okay. And you're going to try and keep as much water on your brush as you can. And you're going to go over your lines 
Again, I'm just dipping my paintbrush in my water so it's really nice and wet. And you don't want it too dark, okay? You actually want it very nice and light. This is even a little too dark, so I just keep adding more water. And hopefully your hand is steady enough. But if it's not, that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. But you almost want like a little puddle on these lines. Okay, you don't want them to soak into the paper. You really want a lot of water because then what you're gonna do, and this is kind of dark, what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab color. So you can grab more, you can grab a different color, maybe let's do some purple. I'm gonna grab some purple paint and I'm just gonna tap it in to this wet paint and see how it kind of like moves throughout like so. Then I'm gonna, I'm gonna wash off my brush. Just have a little, and the reason why I put color on it to start is just so we could see where we're painting. Okay, and now I'm gonna go over the next few lines. I'm gonna fill this diamond in. Again, I want it really wet so it's like a puddle. Okay, and when you touch some of those areas that you already dropped color in, they are going to, the color is going to bleed into those spaces, which is what we want. I feel like I could have done this bigger. Okay, so there's a lot of water in my lines. Do I want to do a line there? Yeah, why not? lot of water. I just keep dipping my paintbrush and the reason why I can do that without it being like crazy overbearing is because I'm using such a small brush. Okay. I feel like I shouldn't have done that center line in there but that's okay. Pick up more water. that and your paper should not be drying if you have really ex inexpensive paper and it dries really fast try and use more water on your brush so it really kind of just sits on top and makes a puddle usually we don't want puddles in our art but for this one we do because that's how the water or the color is going to move through it i feel like i should just go in there. There we go. The lines were bugging me. Okay, just picking up. And you can really use whatever colors you like. I might even tap some green in there. I don't know. Okay, so now again is the fun part. So now I'm going to grab a bit more purple and I'm just going to tap it in. Some of these lines. Okay, and you can even move your snowflake around and let it bleed because you've kind of created this path. I'm gonna grab a little bit of green, my hooker's green. Why not? Brighten it up a bit. Just pick colors that would mix well. And you can just let it run into each other help it along a little if you want. And it just turns out so beautiful. And then just to make it a little bit more, you know, you could do more little ones around, like a bunch of little ones, make this a gift tag. Um, or you can, you know, do a little couple splatters. Let's get a little bit of blue. And then, you know what it might actually be really fun too? some sparkle. Why would we not want sparkle? Okay, I'm going to grab some silver because I feel like silver would look the best. You can just drop some silver in there, especially in the center. 
do a couple silver flecks like that. I think I'm gonna do a little border for this one. So just grabbing our blue. I like to freehand the borders. Live on the wild side here. Yeah. Like that. And you can even do the same kind of thing that we did with the snowflake. So if you leave enough water in this border, okay, you can grab a bit more water. Hold on, let me do this line as straight as possible. You can grab a little bit of your purple. And because it's still wet, you can draw more color in there and do the same kind of thing. So the colors kind of just bleed into one another. And that's about it. Honestly, super simple, super fun. And it just makes an adorable little gift tag or even like a placeholder at a Christmas dinner or whatever you want, a card, anything. And there we go. There's our fun little holiday illustration of a snowflake. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you tomorrow for our next advent calendar video. Have a great day, guys. Bye.